Hey folks, welcome to Quanta. Today we will learn about short triangle option trading strategy. So it is a range bound option trading strategy. So what we basically do in a short triangle is we go ahead and sell a call option and sell a put option of different strike price. Typically, OTM options are preferred to write over here. Okay, so I'll just explain how this strategy looks like and what are the functionalities of this strategy. So for that, I'll just take you through uh, option architect tool in the application. So if I just take you through, let's say architect. Okay, so here it is. Let's say options architect. Go to custom strategy. Now, what our trade is? Our trade is simple. We will go ahead and sell a out of the money call option. Let's say I'll sell uh, 18,900 call plus I'll go ahead and sell a put option out of the money. So I'm going ahead and selling 18,700 strike price put option. So over here, my uh, maximum profit is the premium that I will receive, which is 26 plus 13 in this scenario. Roughly around 40 rupees is what my maximum profit will be in this strategy. Now, why I am creating this strategy? Because I'm expecting that uh, the market might consolidate. So whenever we are creating a short triangle, short straddle, okay. So a, a V, a inverted V is something what you will get to see. Why we do such type of strategies? Because we anticipate that the markets might consolidate in a range. Now we all know that options, they have a, a characteristics wherein the option premium will keep on decaying because of the theta which is decaying in the market. Just because there is uh, the time depict component which has been attached with option premium. Because of that, this is how typically you will see an option premium moving. That means doesn't matter if the underlying is flat. Let's say if this is my underlying and if it is flat, what will happen is even if it remains flat, still my option premium will keep on going down. Be it call option or put option. Why is that happening? That's happening because of the theta decay which is happening in the market. So now to benefit from the theta decay, we are doing something like this. What we are doing, we are going ahead and selling a call option and we are going and sell, selling ahead a put option. So now why again, once again, why I'm doing this? Because I know that tomorrow this premium will melt down maybe to let's say 20. Similarly, this premium will melt down, let's say maybe to 10. So what will be my profit? Six rupees from call side plus Hey traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. Roughly around 4 rupees from the put side. This is what my profit would be approximately. Okay, I'm not giving you exact calculation, but 6 plus 4, 10 rupees roughly, 8 to 10 rupees is what my profit will be. Obviously, 8 to 10 into the loss size of the instrument. I'm talking about the absolute premium in this case. So that is why we do something like a short strangle. Now, what is the best part about this? That if the market remains in a range and if the market doesn't move anywhere, then this strategy will yield you best returns. If you see an architect, you will get to see expiry break even. That means that if the market remains within these range, which is the... Uh, 18,660 in this scenario on the lower side and 18,937 on the upside. If the market remains in this range till expiry, you will make some money from this option trading strategy. Now, here comes the question that will I get the entire premium always? Maybe not. This is the maximum you can earn. Okay. It is not, uh, you know, 100% of the times you will earn, then you will earn the entire premium. Sometimes you may earn, but you know, the profits at this level may not be very significant. Okay, so basically don't aim. What I mean is don't aim to eat away the entire premium. Even if you get, let's say, a 60% or 70% of the entire premium that you have sold, that means uh, that strategy has worked good for you. Number one. Number two thing is why 60 to 70%? Because generally when you write options, your strike rate would be relatively higher. Because of the time decay which is happening in the market and that is the second thing now when it is the best time to try something like this when we are getting closer to the expiry when we know that the theta decay it it has started to pick up the pace that the theta decay is decaying faster at that times this strategy works out to be uh it, it plays out better so when somewhere around the expiry date 
मतलब मोर क्लोजर वी आर टू वी आर टू दी एक्सपायरी मोर फास्टर द टीटा डीके वुड बी बेटर द एनवायरमेंट इज फॉर दिस ऑफ सेंट्रली स्ट्रेटजी नाउ आई विल गिव यू अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग सिंपल टैक्टिक टू एक्चुअली यू नो मैनेज द स्ट्रेटजी अ बिट बेटर एक्चुअली ट्रेड दिस ऑफ सेंट्रली स्ट्रेटजी अ बिट बेटर व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज जस्ट कम ओवर हियर चार्ट ऑर्डर एंड ट्रेड ओके so you will see charts popping out just remove all the things uh, whatever are there and just select the instrument in which you want to write options like nifty select a daily chart and just go to indicators and search for atr what is this average true range on an average how much movement there has been in the market it is trying to tell us that of last 14 days you can change the inputs but i would say that i use the way it is 14 days so it is trying to tell me on a single day on an average there has been around 136 points movement in nifty okay 136 point movement is what nifty has witnessed on an average in last 14 days so if i am trading this option trading strategy intraday okay in intraday is it giving me a buffer of 136 points here and there if that is the case then i am happy with this strategy because it is validating one of my indicator see it will not be the case that always the atr will hold true i am not saying that that atr range ke beech mein market rahega no what i am trying to say is that at least you have one indicator which will tell you the range and accordingly you can validate if the strategy makes sense or not depending on the movement of the market so let's try to check so let's say calculator if it matches then it is very good for me because uh, it is trying to defend the range of atr basically what my indicators forecasted my indicator said that this will be the movement happening in the market right and i created a strategy which is protecting me by this much then i am safe right that is what i want to know so let's say calculator where is the current market price the current market price is at 18000 Eight thirty-eight minus eighteen thousand six sixty. One seventy-eight points is what it is trying to cover me till the expiry day. Lucrative enough, ठीक okay. है. Similarly, eight eight three eight minus eight nine three seven. ठीक okay. है. So it the so it is trying to cover me. Around hundred points on the positive side, so which is also fair enough, right? Because on the lower side, I am getting uh, a much more better protection, wherein I'm where the where I'm selling a call option. So you can adjust uh, the um, strike sold here and there, and you will get the best output. So the idea was that simple. What we learned today, we understood what is a short strangle. Then when it uh, it is best to actually deploy short strangle when the theta decay is faster. the better it is because i will get quick money over there coming to number 3 scenario that atr is one of the indicator that one can use you know to identify how much the movement in the market would be and then accordingly we can go ahead and check if the strategy is strong enough if the strangle is strong enough to protect that range apart from that this is an undefined loss strategy here in if there is a big movement happening in the market nothing can save you so instead of this you can always go ahead and hedge your option trading strategy which is you can buy call options you can buy basically wings is what i want to say call and put options slightly otm you can go ahead and buy those let's say 18500 put and yes it would be converted into a long iron butterfly so your profitability will reduce agree but the maximum loss that you face that that would be you know you will not face an undefined loss you won't blow up your portfolio in a single trade so do check out architect tool start analyzing these strategies try to get sense out of them like what a strategy uh, space are right and try to uh, learn how can you go ahead and build your strategies in a much more better way using a simple tool named as architect in the app the link would be there in the description also it would be there in the icard also you can use charts and you can use a uh, you know the the other indicators available of concept over here from the chart panel in the application again the link would be in the description box below so unlock concept 
and analyze your straddles and strangles in a much more better way and in a much more simpler way, right? Wherein you are not doing any complex math, everything would be shown to you by the architect analytic in the application. 